said personal goal uh, coming into the season, like the camp stop. The uh, season, your, your personal goal. Be the best person I can be starting from day one. I think that's my personal goal. And as far as, you know, as a, as a person, as me, just to be the best person I can be as far as communicative, um, uh, athletic-wise, you know, and just being healthy, staying healthy all through camp. I think that's the main focus. You know, everybody here today, before you, everybody coming before, you know what I get? What? A unity vibe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You everybody was like, man, we, we dissing, we like this, we like the DBs, we like the coach, we like the running back. Yes, sir. Big amount of unity because one one guy said, uh, "Who's that?" Uh, nah, he said, "I ain't like the way the season ended." Not right. And he said, "I can. We can all attest to that." Earlier, <laughs> we can all attest to that, sir. Now, yeah, um, I think just ultimately the drive we all have this year going into it, we all one, one beat, one heart, um, from the, from the first summer workout, you know, we all preached, you know, what our rankings were as far as you know ending the season off. And so, I mean, that's motivation for us all to, you know, be better than that. So, just looking at the roster, we know you spent a lot of time at Nickel last year. You're listed as a safety this year. How much should we be looking into that? How much time have you spent working there? Where, I think, where are we going to see number 19? Where, where should we be looking out on the field? So you have to coach Riley and coach Coach Grinch, you know. Um, I think they just ultimately keep me in the best position. You know, I feel like they, you know, move me around and, you know, help me learn different positions. So I think this year is just an emphasis to learn all five positions, DB, backfield, and wherever wherever I hit up is where I end up. And I think ultimately, um, I'm comfortable at Nickel right now, um, learning everything about free safety and strong safety, just learning about all the different positions right now. I think that's ultimately what my focus is. And what was their feedback to you at the end of the season in terms of how you get better, how you take another step forward? Uh, to finish, uh, finish, stay consistent, um, and to be the best person I am from game one to game 14, however long we play. And uh, there shouldn't be no drop-offs uh, with my play, my production, my communication, I think. And I feel them for that, and it ultimately just helped me going into the summer of this year. So just kind of wrap it up from last year, but for the outside, it's hard for us to know, obviously, what's going on and decisions are making. And obviously, we saw your playing time kind of fluctuate a little bit but track the season for us. Like, when were you at your best? When, you know, um, when were you not 100%? You don't need to give us details, but yeah. like, track through the season for us and I how think, it went for you. I think ultimately, uh, I had a good season. Um, Production-wise, could, could be way more, you know, way more effective in, on that end as far as interceptions and making plays on the ball, I think. Uh, and then ultimately, like, um, where I feel... Um, Generally, I don't really, I don't really, can you repeat the question actually? Because I like, kind of blanked out. I was speaking yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, totally good. So, the season, you know, just think game, first game to the last game, how did it go for you? Oh, where, right, where, right, right. where do you think you made your most growth? Where were you maybe kind of not at your best, whether you were dinged up or, or just, you know, take us through I how it actually went for you. Because, you know, we see you, sometimes we get, you know, Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was, it was an up and down a little bit. So <laughs> right. just, uh, I think the year ultimately went well for me. Um, I think character character um, challenging was definitely Oregon State. We were it was a good it was a good game for us. You know, it was definitely showed me what it like what is how important it is to have a good defense and how how it is to you know stand on your own as far as defense wise. Um, ultimately, though, I think I had a good season. You know, nicks and bruises and all that type of stuff. You know, that happens to the best of us. You know, all athletes, and I think. Ultimately, uh, I think I just had a good year, man. Uh, at the end of the year, just got to finish strong and, you know, be consistent as far as health-wise and staying healthy. So I think ultimately that's the consistency part, just staying healthy at the end of the year, for sure. So Nickelback obviously puts you dealing with tight ends. Those are some big dudes. No, right, right, and right. It was a challenge as a team last year, obviously. It was a challenge, right. a challenge for you individually. What's the key with that? What What are the What are the coaching points there when you're when – you're, you got so, a guy that big, and, right. and you kind of know how they're going to use him. Yeah, um, so as a DB, um, you go against different types of, you know, body sizes. You know, you got 6'3 receivers. Uh, you got the 6'3 tight, 6'5 tight ends. I mean, the difference between those uh, is how, how physical you play to the smaller receivers and to the tight ends. And I think um, being having a more a more um, edge about, you know, guarding the tight ends as far as, like, who's faster and who can get out their breaks more quicker and more efficient. Just having that knowledge in the back of your head when you're lining up against them 
I think that can ultimately help, you know, make more plays. So we've heard, um, actually it was Coach Nua talking about the difference between guys who like the game and guys who love the game. How can you tell the difference? Um, you can tell by the little details, the small details uh, to what a guy takes it and how a guy, you know, reacts to a situation. I mean, I think that can ultimately show you, you know, where his heart is in the game. And there's definitely a difference between somebody that's liking the game and loving the game. And you can definitely see it in the small details like run, running, you know, suicides, you know, uh, how you finish and how you, you know, how, re how react, how tired are you, how you going to, you know, encourage your teammates. And that's the love for the game. And I think, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of people that, you know, like the game, but it's few that love the game for sure. What are the DB details, a DB who loves the game? What are we seeing? What can we see him out there doing? Uh, being the best first, I think he can. You can see him being free and more comfortable. Uh, guys that love the game as a DB, as a DB's uh, position, I think they're, they're more comfortable and they're more effective. I mean, talking and just you can see, you can feel the energy, you know, when they're through their play, you know, through any any play, any uh, position through the field. You can definitely see, you know, who loves the game, who who just likes it. So, last year Travis had kind of a special leadership role where. It wasn't just offense. Like he kind of the, the whole team, team yeah, yeah kind of sure. looked up to him. Are there any contenders that you want to highlight, like uh, who have kind of stepped up in that way you know, on either side of the ball? Is there yeah. a defensive guy who maybe you consider? There's, there's plenty of guys that have you know chipped away at the uh, leadership level as far as you know coming in and chiming in whenever we need a talk or we need some some some, some fixing or whatever like that. Uh, Mason Cobb, Shane Lee, you know, just our our leaders. You know, they've continued to step up for us. You know, Caleb. Uh, Jonah, um, some, some 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 big name guys that have you know helped us throughout you know the past couple of seasons, um, who who are getting older now, so you know they gotta you know lead us in the right direction. I think ultimately they're doing a great job with communicating with us and you know making sure we're on point. So just tell me a little about Mason, because kind of like Travis, he showed up yeah, as a new guy, but yeah. he kind of already has that vibe. What what stands uh, out about him? Mason, you know, he has his own energy, yeah, his own vibe about himself. You know, he comes in ready to work, uh, and he, he works hard, works his ass off, um, and he communicates too. He talks well, and he, you can tell he likes the guys, he loves the guys, and uh, he took his time out of his day to, you know, meet everyone, other guys. So, I mean, everyone has a relationship with him, uh, and overall, his, he just, everything, his presence, everything he does, he, you know, he brings that, fi that firepower to our defense for sure. And then, just tell us about you in that space. You know, you're you're an upbeat guy. Yeah. We know that. But as a leader, you're 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 an old head now. Yeah, man. So just talk think, about how think, you kind of evaluate yourself as a leader and, and where you've grown this summer. Um, ultimately, man, just leaning on my guys. You know, anybody that had a question for me, that you know, I am just being more open to communicating and you know, giving the the, um, the nudges and the the, the deeds that I that I wanted to have when I was a freshman. Uh, so, you know, just being a shoulder that my guys can talk to me about and being more open to speaking and being more communicative, I think just over the years it's just been growing for me and this year it's been it's been great, you know. A lot of young guys, man, I talk to a lot of young guys and, you know, tell them how, how, this, how college is and how it's gonna work. So I think ultimately, man, just embracing the role of being an older guy and having the guys to lean on me, so yeah, it's good. So you can give as many or as few as you want, but I'll just ask you, why is the USC defense going to be better this year? Um, <clears throat> honestly, man, I think it's just been time. Time, time, the time we put together, the bond we put together, you know, the brotherhood we have. Uh, ultimately, man, you can see a lot of a lot of energy on the defensive side. You know, our D-line getting after it, DBs getting after it, linebackers getting after it. I think we're all just one beat right now. And I think that's been the start for the summer. All of us just, you know, being on one, on one heart, one beat, you know, moving on one sound. I think that translating and ultimately translates. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name, man? I'm on. I'm Jay. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you, bro. So, you, you know, you, you kind of, uh, you went from, you know, nickelback to, you know, now a DB. What yeah. does that kind of entail? Is that kind of a mix of 
I think, I think ultimately, yeah, it's sir. I think that's ultimately just being open to playing all five positions, all four, five positions, the DB, learning them all. And uh, I think that's just opening me up to um, learn all positions, basically, to be honest. And wherever they coach me, need me to play, I can play. I think that's ultimately what the motive of me changing from nickel to, not changing, but changing the name from nickel to. I think, you know, like Is that that was that was you that decided that you want to kind of expand? Well, it was just kind of conversation. It was just, it wasn't it wasn't even conversation. It was more so like you know I can I feel like I can do more than just play nickel. I could play you know the corner safety, free safety. So I think just just an, you know observation. I think coaches want to see what I can do, and I think that's ultimately the challenge that I'm ready for. <laughs> Work with directly. You work with Coach Grinch. Oh yes, sir. With, I'm with Coach Grinch. Yeah, I mean. So, does he kind of tell you uh, a little more of like this is your ability and you know how about we try you? How about we try you here? There? Yeah, uh, not really that. I'd honestly say um, I think we we've, we've had discussions, you know, prior to um, to camp, just like of our own abilities and what we do and what coach coach's technique and what he brings to the table and how it enhances our performance. So basically, like. Basically stating like we had a communi- a conversation about you know what, what what I can do and how I can do it, but um, my technique or his technique with my with my talent can help. You know what I'm saying? I think that's ultimately been the key. So I mean, just understanding our own uh, talents and our own like you know what I'm saying, plus the technique and how that affects and, and it can help us. I think that's ultimately been the drive. What are some of the things that you? loved about your game last last season and you're carrying over this season and what are some of the things that you're developing this off season that you're definitely gonna add to your practice? Uh I think mostly uh energy. I think I'm gonna keep that keep the energy up, uh tackling wise, keep keep tackling and being you know, being that spark on defense that, you know, that they need and that we need actually. And uh to improve I think just coverage wise, you know, making more plays on the ball. Uh and just being more of a, a ball threat, I think that's ultimately been my imp, imp, like improvising on that and progressing on that for sure. With the DBs overall, what's the development been last year uh, with you know then the coaching staff first coming in to this offseason? Um, so I think from last year, it was more so our DB core was learning and learning how our coaches, you know, how they operate. More so to this year, we're more comfortable with our coaches and. You know, we know what we want to emphasize. We know what we want to do, and so it's more so once 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 a clear you know clear eye view like that. I think it's more so it's just room for improvement uh, overall. I think that's been the ultimate motto for sure. As a defense, you guys had. 25 takeaways or something. I think you guys, as yeah. DB, you've had like 19 yeah, interceptions. How do you build on that? Uh, to, to go to a new season and kind of say, man. all right, well, you know, our goal last year was 24. Yeah. And we surpassed that. Right. And then this, you know, this offseason, what are, what are we going to go to? You know, right. I think, I think the, what we build up upon that is we we look at it we see how we, what positions we were in to make those plays and we try to put ourselves in those positions 100 percent of the time and i think excuse me, uh i think just ultimately going out there and competing like how we do against the offense every day day in and day out i think that ultimately helped us for sure who's been kind of stepping up uh or standing out uh, whether it's in the weight room or whether it's in some, some workouts that have kind of surprised you? Uh, it's a couple guys. Um, honestly, uh, all of my guys have been, been working very hard, you know, to, you know, get bigger, better, faster, and stronger. Um, but I think Devin Tompkins, uh, he's, he's a young guy that's in my pod right now, and he's a D lineman, actually. And, uh, you know, being with him from his freshman year and seeing his growth now, uh, it's, it's a big change, a drastic change. You can tell how you know, somebody that dedicates themselves to the weight room first, and you can see the body change and see all that. So just excited for him to go out there and compete. And also, uh, I was speaking about Mason Cobb. I think Mason Cobb is a good guy that, you know, surprised me for sure. You know, he's a ball player for sure. And I, I didn't really, I wasn't really hip to him, you know, uh, come when he came over when he transferred. But, you know, once I watched the film and uh, got to be on the field with him, it was kind of like, okay, I know what I'm on for. So, yeah, those two guys for sure. Kalen's been here. Yeah. You guys have been together pretty much the start. Yes, sir. What's it like seeing his development and who he is nah, right it's, now? It's and tremendous, man. It's, it's crazy to see, man, you know, being out there my first, you know, our first couple snaps together in freshman year, you know, to now, it's, it's crazy to see. It's, it's, it's motivation as well, you know, to see that, you know, you can do it just as 
No, it's, it's literally just yeah, motiv motivation, and it's, it's, it's really nice to see that. You know, my guy in the same, same room as me is, you know, prospering and, you know, developing, and he's going to be a good guy for the league, for sure. And then Max Williams, of course, he was here. Yeah, yes, yeah, He's been here longer than you have. Man. Seeing his, you know, seeing how he's grown, what areas have you, you know, have you seen in this offseason where it's possibly his final season, you know, in, in this USC yeah. uniform? Oh, uh, man. It's, 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 it's a blessing to have Max in your room, man. Max is a, um, is a leader, um, damn near like a coach, for real, man. He knows everything that the coaches know. Uh, Technique-wise, he's a te technician. And uh, overall, man, great guy to have him uh, in the room. You can talk to him without, about whatever. And one thing about him, he's so versatile. He can play whatever position you need on the field, and he knows them all. So, I mean, why not? Why not love Max, you know? And Max has always been that guy from day one. And uh, he's always been like, he was like an older guy that I looked up to uh, coming in my freshman year. Uh, I think he was coming off of an injury, ACL injury. Uh, but getting acclimated to the playbook, uh, I think that was awesome the start of uh, our relationship. But ultimately, man, it's been, been my guy ever since then, man. But for sure, he's my guy, he gone. You know, shock a lot of shock the world next year for sure. What's the what's the comfort like with uh, your playbook? Now that you know, you guys don't already we already did it. Uh, super, super comfortable, man. Uh, now we just got to make the plays. Now put the plays, put the put the play behind it. Um, we know our objective. We know the technique. We know what we got to do. Um, it's been a year, some change now. Um, so I think guys knowing what they can do and knowing knowing what they what they're capable of, I think that ultimately helps us tremendously, ten times more than last year for sure. You guys have a takeaways goal? Uh, not really a takeaways goal. We got to get some for sure. That's the thing. We just got to get some takeaways. I appreciate you always.